Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Tim. In this video, I'm gonna explain how you can turn an MP3 file to a video. So essentially how you can turn this. Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Tim. Welcome to my podcast. Into this. What's up everyone? My name is Tim. Welcome to my podcast. In this video, we're gonna use Veet's online video editor. You can instantly get started. Head over to your browser and type in the URL bar edit.new and click on enter. You can also click on the first link in the description. Now we're in Veet's editor and we can get started. You can choose one of the amazing templates. If you click on audio, you can see all the audio templates. But for now, I wanna start from scratch because I wanna show you how it works. So I'm gonna click on upload a file and select the MP3 file I wanna turn into a video and click on open. Now we're prompted to choose the aspect ratio, but I'll show you how you can do that within the editor. So now I'm gonna start with a blank canvas. After a moment, the audio file is imported into the editor and we can listen back to the audio recording. Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Tim, welcome to my podcast. Now, before I'm gonna add audio visualizers and subtitles and such, I'm gonna show you how you can change the aspect ratio. Let's start with that. So to change the aspect ratio, simply head over to settings in the left menu. And on the sides, you can see original. If you click on it, you have a bunch of dimensions or aspect ratios you can choose from. For now, I'm gonna choose square. So it's already selected, but let's say you wanna choose Instagram story. Simply select nine by 16. And you can easily change it again by simply clicking on it and just selecting the dimensions you like. In this case, I wanna choose square. So there you go. Now, first things first, I wanna add an audio visualizer. So to make this happen, head over to elements in the left menu. And as you can see, you can add shapes, emojis, progression bars, stickers, whatever you like. For now, I'm gonna choose a sound wave. In this case, I wanna choose this one. And as you can see, podcast, in this episode, I'm gonna, it's added to the video. Now, if you clicked on the audio visualizer, you can change the styling from here. You can also change the colors, the opacity, the decibel control, and the duration. For now, I'm gonna do something creative. I wanna add a background to the audio visualizer. I'm gonna head back to elements and on the shapes, as you can see, you can choose between a bunch of shapes. In this case, I'm gonna choose a square, and again, just like the audio visualizer, you can use the side and corner options to rotate it and resize it. Now, as you can see, the audio visualizer is actually behind the background and we wanna change it. Simply just right click on the rectangle or square and under arrange, click on bring backward. Now, as you can see, I'm just reshaping and resizing everything. I'm gonna make the audio visualizer white because I think it looks a little bit cleaner. There you go, let's have a look. Talk about breakfast. Breakfast is very nice. And now as a default, as you can see, we added the shape and it only covers a part of the video and we want to cover it as its entirety. So to make that happen, head over to the bottom timeline and simply click and drag on the sides and extend it to its entirety. And now I want to change the color of the shape. If I click on the shape itself, as you can see, you can flip it from here, rotate it as well through the menu, but you can also change the colors from here. So I want to change it to a little less red. There you go. And I'm also going to change the borders. There you go. Now let's bring this video to life a little bit. I wanna add an image. So to make this happen, head over to media in the left menu and you can upload a file. In this case, I wanna choose a picture of myself. There you go and click on open. And again, in the bottom timeline, we're gonna extend it to its entirety. And just like the audio visualizer and the shape, if you click on the video frame, you can simply resize it and relocate it through the side and corner options. I wanna make this one a little bit bigger, but as you see, as I extend it or make it bigger, it actually overrides the audio visualizer we just made. So to make a difference to that, again, just right click on it and under arrange, click on bring to back. Now, just for fun, let's play the video. Hey, Tim, welcome to my podcast. In this episode, I'm gonna, cool. Oh, and before I add text and subtitles to the video, I wanna change the background. And this is the background part of the video. So to make that happen, simply head over to settings in the left menu and on the background, you can choose a color. You can add color codes, you can use the color pencil, you can choose a color from one of the palettes, but in this case, I just wanna make it less gray. So I'm gonna choose this one. Now we wanna add a title to the video. So to add text, head over to text in the left menu and choose one of the templates. In this case, I'm gonna choose headline title. And as you can see in the text menu on the left, you can change the text in the text box. You can change the text style, the font, the size and the colors, and you can add an animation to your text. First things first, let's change the color of the text to white because it's very hard to see it like this. And if you click and drag on the text within the video frame, you can relocate it. And again, you can resize it through the side and corner options. In this case, I wanna change the text to the daily enter podcast. There you go. If you click, let's say on the image or on the audio visualizer, you can change it on the spot from there as well because I wanna make the image a little bit smaller or a little bit thinner. And as you can see, I'm just using the side and corner options to make this happen. Now I think this looks pretty good. And again, if you click on the text itself, you can just change the font to whatever you like. 
And again, let's just extend this to the entirety of the video. Now I wanna add an extra text to this. To make this happen, head over to the bottom section, as you can see, add another text box. If you click on it, uh, again, choose a template and there it is. Now I'm gonna put this one just above the video and I'm gonna change it to white again. Let's have a look, there you go. And I wanna call it Tim's Productions. Now I wanna change the font, let's say Archivo, there you go. And let's make it a little bit bigger. Nice, I think that looks really cool. So now as a final touch, I wanna add an animation to the text. So simply click on the text you wanna add an animation to and click on animation and just choose the one you like. I think this one is pretty cool, but just to show you, you have the block option, the drop option, the pop option, whatever you like. In this case, I'm gonna choose slide right. Let's have a look. Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Tim. Nice. Now let's add some subtitles to this video. Now we can use the auto transcription tool, which is very convenient. Simply head over to subtitles in the left menu, choose auto subtitle, select the language you speak in your video. In this case, it's English and then click on start. And now this can take a moment depending on the size of the video. And now as you can see, Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Tim. Welcome to my podcast. Subtitles are added to the video. Now, if you take a closer look on the left, you can see all the text boxes portrayed there, all the transcriptions, you can change all the words and sentences from here. And you can see the subtitles in the bottom timeline. If you want to read time the subtitles, just click on one of them and just click and drag on one of the sides or just drag it from the middle. You can also split the subtitles in two if you're going to use the playhead and just let it rest above a subtitle and click on split subtitle, it's going to split from that specific point. And again, if you click on the subtitles, just like we did with the image and the audio visualizer and the text, you can relocate it, you can resize it and rotate it within the video frame. However, if you wanna fully design your subtitles, simply head over to styles in the subtitles menu and you can change the font, the font size, the color, background color, spacing, whatever you like. And now as a final touch, before I export the video, I wanna add a Spotify sticker. To make this happen, head over to elements in the left menu and just scroll down until you can find it. As you can see, there are many stickers you can choose from. And there it is on the social badges. If you click on view all, you can just simply select the one you like. And again, you can resize it and relocate it to the side and corner options. I'm gonna put it right here. There you go, nice. So now we've fully turned our MP3 file to a video and I wanna export my video. To make this happen, head over to export in the right top corner, choose your preferred render settings. I'm gonna choose HD, make sure burn subtitles is enabled and then click on export video. After the video is rendered, you can watch the video back on the left. Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Tim, welcome to my podcast. Nice, so now if you wanna share your video, it's very easy. Head over to the big blue share button below the video. You can copy the link and paste it everywhere. You can copy the link to your socials directly or embed the video on your website. Or if you wanna download your video, simply click on the download button below the video, click on download MP4 and it should be in your downloads folder. All right, so that's how you easily turn MP3 to video. Thank you so much for watching. Good luck and have a nice day.